The history of Alzheimer's trials is so fraught, and there, there have been hundreds upon hundreds of failures in this category. Investors really should have known better. Um, you know, any trial can work by random chance, but blaming Biogen for the results of today, hard for me to do that. Now, should Biogen have had a better backup plan in place when this fell apart? That's a much more open question, sure. I think, a more interesting debate. And, yeah. and why was so much at stake on this particular trial, especially for this company? Well, I mean, Biogen has a lot of products on the market. They're market leaders in some key categories, multiple sclerosis, spinal muscular atrophy. Uh, competition is heating up in both those areas, and Biogen now suddenly has a growth problem on its hands. Um, multiple sclerosis has been slowing down. Their largest best-selling drug faces a patent challenge. If Biogen loses that, you know, that's going to make things worse. Uh, Novartis is going to hit the market with its gene therapy drug, you know, maybe this year, maybe next year. That's going to be a serious uh challenger to Spinraza, Biogen's main growth driver. Hmm. So, you know, this could get, this could be um, a serious problem for Biogen going forward. And they spent about $12 billion in the last four years buying back stock. And now there are real questions about the pipeline of new drugs coming in. That's a great point. So who else, Charlie, has promising research in this area for people, you know, looking at what may treat or cure Alzheimer's? Uh, it's scant out there. It really is. And this is a sad day for Alzheimer's patients and, you know, for taxpayers, uh, you know, treating long-term care liabilities is everyone's problem, whether mm -hmm. or not you know someone with this disease. And, you know, I think any promising Alzheimer's treatments are years away and we have to reset the clock again. And that, wow. that's a bummer. And you said here there's a few other companies where maybe investors should look to. Uh, Acadia, Neurocrine, Sage, which just had a, a, a treatment yesterday for postpartum depression. Sure, sure. I mean, Biogen has, you know, been focused on central nervous system disorders, and none of these companies have a lead Alzheimer's asset. But at the same time, they are with, fit within Biogen's strategy and would be a natural, you know, tuck-in acquisition. At the same time, Biogen might need to rethink uh, whether central nervous system is the place it wants to be. Yeah. I, think, I think when you see a move like this, you really have to ask some bigger questions about what you're doing out Are there. they in play now, Charlie, or n because of the sell-off, or no, because of the pipeline issues? It's possible. It's possible. I mean, Celgene was similarly down in the dumps and got bought out for a higher price than Biogen's market value today. But, you know, just because that's happened once does not mean that every that's a viable exit strategy for every company, as you can as you can see the Celgene Bristol Myers deal mm -hmm. is also hotly contested. Exactly. So yeah, I mean, I think someone could make a play for Biogen, but I think their shareholder base could could uh, raise some objections if that happened.